Hello everyone, I am Harshita and this video deals with some short tricks for the mathematics sections. Uh, we'll start with some easy tricks but uh, the next or the second trick is a bit difficult. So you might watch this video again and again to get a better view of it. So yeah, see. So the very first trick is if you are given a very huge number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you have to multiply it by 5 okay so general method is uh, this like you will do this right but uh, or maybe you will use fingers okay but a very smart trick here is to write 5 as 10 by 2 so you can easily divide the number by 2 uh, almost everyone of us can divide a number by 2 uh, in our mind and just add a zero at the end okay so many of you find might find this trick very obvious but I am making this video for everyone so I will take the easiest also and the most difficult also okay um, now the next one yeah so like if you are given a number uh, which is not divisible by 2 so like 7, 8, 9, 3 is an odd number. So you just try, you just divide it uh, and have a decimal and just multiply it by 10. Again a very easy technique but many of you might not be implementing it. So just try using it. Okay. So uh, now we'll deal with a difficult uh, technique. Okay. So you, you can just watch this video again and again if you don't get it. Okay. I'll be very slow with it okay so if you're given a number like say 101 and you have to find the square of this number okay so how will you do it firstly you take a base like 101 is near to 100 so we'll take 100 as the base now you take out the square of the last two digits so your last two digits is 01 so the square of 01 is obviously 01 and this 0, 1 is the last two digits of the original answer. Okay. So, one, so the square of 1, 0, 1. So, we got the last two digits of this square. Okay. Now, now apply this formula for the starting digits. Okay. Number, number is 1, 0, 1 here. Minus base. Base we have taken as 100 into 2. This will be 101 minus 100 into 2 that is 2 plus your base that is 100 so you will get 102 here so your answer will be 102 which you got uh, 102 you got by this formula it's a very easy formula and uh, you just uh, it's just a one line formula okay you just remember it you will be able to do it and the last two digits you got by multiplying uh, the square this so this one this zero one ka square is your your last two digits okay so is ka square was this okay uh, so yeah see here we did the same thing firstly uh, we took out the square of zero one this is the uh, the square is the last two digits of our answer okay then what we did difference of the number and the base that is one you multiply the difference by two and add the base to it you will get one zero two so your answer will be one zero two zero one okay uh, we'll solve many questions of this uh, type so you'll get a very a very good idea of it okay see we will take 103. Now, this 03, square of 03 is 09. And 09 is the, are the last two digits of our original answer. Now, you subtract the base from the number. That is 103 minus 100. You multiply it by 2. That is 3 into 2. That is 6. And you add 100 to it. It is 106. And 106 is the starting, uh, the starting digits of the, uh, of the of our answer. Okay. Now we'll solve. 
Okay, so now we'll take another number. It's square of one zero eight. So again, we'll take our base as hundred because a one zero eight is nearer to hundred. Now square of zero eight is sixty four. So sixty four is the last two digits of the original answer. Now you um, you ap you apply that formula again. Number that is one zero eight minus base that is hundred will give you eight. Multiply that eight by two, you will get sixteen. Add that sixteen to your base, you will get one one six. So the answer would be one one six six four. Okay. See, you will find it very confusing. Starting, but it's very very easy. You just have to take out the square of the last two digits, है ना? And you have to, and that will be your last two. Uh, that square will be the last two digits of the digits of the original number. Now for the starting digits, you apply this simple formula: number minus base into two plus hundred. Okay. So your uh, number is one zero eight minus hundred into two plus hundred. So now we'll take some uh, a different type of question. Yeah. See. So till now we took numbers one, three, eight. So these have square which is two digit. Okay. But thirteen has a square which is a three digit number. Okay. So thirteen square is one sixty nine. So what we'll do is I'll just. So what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, just write sixty nine over here. We'll just put this one on hold, okay? Just just put this one on hold for now, okay? Now apply that uh, uh, that same formula one one three minus base into two plus base. You will get one twenty six, okay? Now what you do is you add this one. Two one twenty six, so you will get one twenty seven. Okay, so this one twenty seven will be your starting digits. So your answer would be one two seven six nine. Okay, so I'll just repeat it again. What different we have done here? The square of thirteen was one sixty nine, which is a three digit number. But we only want two digits, okay? So we wrote the last two digits, sixty-nine, like this. We put this one on hold, okay? We apply that same age-old formula and add that one to the answer. So you will get one twenty-seven, okay? So I hope it's not confusing. Uh, we'll solve few more questions, and you will get a hang of it. Once you get a hang of it, you can like easily solve it in like two, three seconds, or maybe five seconds. Okay. Okay. So here we'll use one one six. Okay. Sorry. So a square of sixteen is two fifty six. So we'll write fifty six. But we'll put this two on a hold. Okay, we'll apply that same formula: number minus hundred into two. That is one hundred sixteen minus hundred. That is sixteen into two thirty two. We'll add our base to thirty two. We'll get one thirty two. Now we add this two, which we had put it on hold, to this one thirty two. We'll get one thirty four. So our original answer would be one three four. Six. Okay. So, how, so you are getting right. What I am trying to say is that if if your if the square of sixteen is a three digit number, so you don't take all the three digits. You only take the last two digits. Okay. Fifty six. You put that two on hold. You apply that same formula for the starting digits. Number minus hundred into two plus hundred, because hundred is a base. And you add this two which you had put it on hold. To that answer, you'll get one thirty four. So your answer would be one three four five six. This five six is your this which you got by um, uh, squaring sixteen. Okay. Uh, one more we have. 
okay so here we have um, 121 okay square of uh, 21 is 441 i hope you guys have learned squares till 30 and cubes till 15 it's really important to solve the maths questions fast okay so square of 21 is 441 you just write 41 just put this 4 on a hold you apply that same formula number minus 100 into 2 plus 100 that will be 21 into 2 plus 100 142 you add this 4 to 142 you will get 146 so your answer would be 146 41 so this 41 you got it by this uh, squaring 21 and the last two digits and i hope you guys are getting how we are getting the starting digits why we are doing this because the square of 21 is a three digit number it is not a two digit number okay so we look at one last example and i hope uh, you guys are clear with this method it's very easy i have explained it to the best of my abilities okay uh, now see so square of 25 sorry square of 25 is 625 you put that 6 on hold okay you just write 25 and this 25 is your last two digits of the original answer okay now what you do is you apply that same formula 125 minus 100 into 2 25 into 250 plus 100 150 you add this 6 sorry you add this 6 to 150 you will get 156 and this 156 are the starting digits of our answer okay so i hope you are getting it um i hope i'm not messing it and uh, if you're not getting it even i didn't get it for the first time but you uh, but since this is a video you can see it again and again believe me it is very easy and you will require some efforts in the beginning to understand the logic after that you literally solve it in 2 3 seconds 5 seconds 6 seconds it will save a lot of time and in maths time uh, like uh, the least amount of time you take the more are the chances that you will get a better score in mathematics okay so um I hope this video helps, and um, um, I have I've been trying to address your doubts that you posted in the comment section, uh, and I'm trying to make videos along those lines. So stay tuned uh, to the Law School 101 channel. Thank you.